Welcome to the fire It's real like your name on a flyer Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Siobhan and you're watching the entertainment feed. Enough with the chit chats, we are going to get to the stories right away. <laughs> it wasn't mad. Seven Nation, what go on people, enough love and blessings upon the Friday year. Whoa, 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 wait. Upon the Thursday year, I'm so sorry for that. Bless up on the Thursday year, Spotlight Thursdays. Shout out to all new members who just are trying with nice, decent community. Welcome to the entertainment feed. We're gonna kick off the morning with some music. Dance and artist Squash, the six boss, releases his new single entitled Bad and Rich. And them no more than we. We have a bag of girl and we full of beer money and we alright. Them no more than we. Rich and bad from and in a way na hype. And them no more than we. Them no more than we. Them no more than we. Baby six, them no more than we. No, this is a damn good song, you know, excellent song. And when I just said that just because it's squash and him a part of the six and the six them about right now, it do have one thing for do with that. The song have just the right amount of lyrics, flow, melody, substance, everything. I don't question the part right there. But the title though, come on man squash, you mean so you couldn't give me something better than Bad and Rich? Popcorn of Rich and Bad, you know, just a few weeks ago, you know, Rebel Six put out an next one about Rich and Bad. Even Lord Cavalli have one about Bad and Rich and Rich and Bad. Rich badness, rich badness. If you do have no money, talk, don't start shit. I know you released this one, it's a damn good song, you know, people. It's just the title. You know, say, why squash after name it bad and rich? I know it's different from rich and bad, but it still means the same thing. And I don't know if I just because of that, when I see the song and I see the title, I feel like I hear the song already. Not saying I actually hear the song already, you know. But because of the title and how the people them use it so often, that slang, that word is so frequent right now, I feel as if I hear the song already. Take nothing away from the song you know we can't take something from the title because i feel like squash could have go a little hard upon the title but at the same time damn good song so some more of squash new song entitled bad and rich make money and take care of my family so the boss gets to work on summer break tell them i'm not gonna make it them never to live my girlfriend get corrupt so she has to live also voice tell me some enough the grave now girl up at me call a girl up full me slave diamonds roll me let me swear me I'll go freeze how we die up on the other cruise and smoke the trees 32 in the clip tell a nigga for age yesterday veteran dance and artist bounty killer celebrated his 47th birthday we give you an update on that what the likes of vibes cartel sent bounty killer birthday blessings and greetings bounty killer took that post and reposted it on him instagram and added female like piece of course but first may i read the part where cartel say happy Earth day, my daddy. I wish you many more to come. Stand strong upon them, same way, my mentor. Cheers, respect, and honor. Cheers at Grungadzilla. Bouncy killer part now. Blessings and love, my incarcerated pitney. No love and respect goes out to the Gaza Dan and the nation give thanks. Kaboom, bad wo bad, never gone. We live forever. And once again, uh, shout out to Bounty Killer. Do I yesterday upon him? Earth Strong, but shout out to Bounty Killer. Feel Earth Strong. We there with a vibe, see it? But me just want to say happy Earth Strong to Bounty Killer. Like today, I'm, I'm, I'm Earth Strong, like today. I remember Saturday at the party, the 15th, and I done a waterfront. So if you have nothing to do, and if you have something to do, just drop where you have to do and make sure you say that. We don't have an argument to do, you know. So uh, everybody has to do that, yes, sir. See it? So my mother, I invite my mother to, no worry about it. See it? I mean, I invite our friend them. I'm gonna look a friend them when I can. So anybody who can drink, come I drink wine. I drink like a beer. Martel, so. Martel, Martel, Martel. Yeah. yeah. And they will drink the one thing you like. Apart from yeah. Martel. Yeah. 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 Anybody who can drink, so have a glass of Martel and think, just come, cause mm -hmm. it's Saturday night. It's the party, but today is the birthday. So happy birthday, yes, sir. Respect our man as my birthday. Just stay strong and just more music, more work. People at the speed and pace where coffee are going, coffee is gonna be one of the greatest dancehall artists of all time. One off, I'm not saying she is gonna be, we don't even know the future all, but we definitely know that she's gonna be considered as one of the greatest reggae artists of all time if she continue upon the part where she did. And me have a shout out to coffee and governor for the remix where she do for Rapture. Really good song, the original song is a really good song, but the remix I like it as well. Governor flavor a little bit different, fit the rhythm, match up to coffee lyrics and flow off that song quite well. Sister coffee with the gold sounds pain town pick me big up the whole town. The reason why I never really want to touch that song they still I just you we all know the copyright sit around coffee contents. Hmm, play too much of it and your video probably end up a black worldwide. 
But still, update on coffee. Coffee will be featured on the Jimmy Fallon show tonight. Big uh, step for coffee. Well, our next big platform coffee I got to say, you know, say, our thing only I got to get louder. Not only that, iTunes do a little thing for coffee. She's the next artist on the up next. On iTunes up next, I don't know if coffee is the first uh, dancehall or reggae artist uh, to be featured on iTunes up next. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure about that. But big up coffee for that. When people listen to my music, I want them to feel blessed. So I want to represent for the music 100%. Blessings all for my life and my dog God for the journey, the earnings are just for the plus. Yeah. Whole heap of things are going for coffee right now. And like I say, if she continue up on the part where she did upon, she is going to be one of the greatest reggae artists of all time. One of, not the greatest, one of. So don't get it twisted. I try to separate myself from the music. I try to create music that I know will represent my country and represent welfare. Talking about featured Beanie Man, featured on Fox 5 people, and based off of all the German controversy surrounding the previous feature, Fox 5 did on Vibes Cartel. Mm -hmm. But Beanie Man finally featured on Fox 5. Here we're Beanie Man of say, still a top about the crown people, as a matter of fact. I think uh, this is what that feature was all about. Still, pre on. All year long, we have been taking a look at the biggest names in reggae and also dancehall. That's right. Tonight, our focus is on an artist who's dominated the scene for decades. Lisa Evers here now with more on the one and only Beanie Man. Lisa. Well, Stephen Derry, very incredible. It all started for Beanie Man at the age of eight when he won first prize in Jamaica's Tasty Talent Contest. Now, after 25 years of Billboard hits and awards, Beanie tells us there's no question he's the king of dancehall. Beanie Man's King of the Dance Hall video dropped about 10 years ago, soon after he proclaimed his ascension to the royal throne. By 2009, the world knew him as a Grammy winning reggae artist for his 12th studio album, Art and Life. His high-energy dancehall performances electrified audiences worldwide, and hits like Girls Dem Sugar featuring Maya cross genres, becoming staples in the dancehall and in hip-hop and R&B clubs. We're from Jamaica with the first Grammy Award for the first reggae music. That, that's when we know that, you know, we can go there, we can be that person, and we can be known international. So it's a great feeling. It's, it's a magnificent feeling. It's, it's like Christmas and happy birthday. Beanie's career accomplishments spanning decades would be the envy of any artist and speak to his music royalty pedigree, an international fan base, prestigious industry awards, and a slew of hits among his more than two dozen albums. This superstar has also collaborated with some of the biggest names in the music business, like Janet Jackson. Throughout his illustrious career, he has earned himself Grammy Award, Mobile Awards, many other accolades. Yeah, and not to mention some of the biggest collaborations any other dancehall artist has ever had. In 2019, however, fans of some dancehall artists seem eager to crown their own king, especially after the question was raised in a report we did on Vibes Cartel. Beanie tells us there's no reason for any confusion. When I get crowned, there was no debate. There was nobody saying, no, he's not the king of the dancehall art. You know, that person should be the king of the dancehall. There was no debate. Off and Beanie Man is the king of dancer. When asked who's responsible for issuing the crown, here's how Beanie explains it. The people in Jamaica have to crown you. And the people in the world that listen to the music, the dancehall music, have to crown you as their king. He is a legend in dancehall, an icon, definitely, based on all the credits that he's had. As for the haters and critics, the artist, also known as The Doctor, gives this prescription. Dancehall, we will, we will always have good and bad, you know? You have, you, have, you have negative vibes, you have great vibes, but it's for you as a dancehall artist to take the negative and make it positive. Beanie Man says he follows his own advice and has healed his long-standing rift with Bounty Killer, a dynamic street-tough dancehall and reggae artist known for his aggressive gangster lyrics. Me and Bounty Killer, with, with that 
with that rivalry that we have, it builds us together, you know? It builds me to be the king of the dance hall, be one to kill to be the general of the dance hall. As for his future, Beanie tells us he has no plans of slowing down. More music, more, more albums, you know, and continuation of being a man, being there, standing firm, defending dance hall as dance hall king. Beanie is proud of his Kingston roots and wants dance hall fans to know he's planning something special for Jamaica's epic annual concert known as Sumfest. He plans to show the world that the old beef with Bounty Killer has turned into love. Stephen Derry. Fascinating story. Really Impressive. Yes. Yeah. Kingston Town. Love it. All right. Thank you, Lise. Nation, look how busy signals sung of the people. Em. <laughs> people, you see what time I'm a clock, you see what time I'm a quick and get the card of here. And as usual, my people. But should on your flame to the fire. It's real like your name on a flyer. You don't wanna take so you like it. Zef, Nation, the entertainment feed community. Now, love and blessings on the Wednesday year, trendy Wednesdays. We have a couple things to talk about. A lot of drama and controversy. No things about put a hype. Not a whole lot of releases on the music side of the thing. Couple previews, yes. But for now, go and enjoy the track entitled Ride It by Maestro Dan featuring Starface. Skin out the pussy for me now.